Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Concept. So our today's topic is hydrodynamic lubrication or thick film lubrication. So in this video, we will see the working principle of hydrodynamic lubrication, and also I will uh, explain you the applications of applications of hydrodynamic lubrication. So let's start our topic without wasting the time. So first of all, we will see the working principle of uh, hydrodynamic lubrication. So moving surfaces are separated by a pressure of continuous unbroken film or layer of lubrication. You can see a, a soft and general bearing. So when this bearing, uh, when this soft is at uh, rest position, so then there will be physical contact between this bearing and this soft. Okay. When this uh, bearing, this start, uh, soft just start to rotate, then its position is like this. There is a continuous unbroken film. Okay. Uh, when this shaft is in full running condition, then there will be profile is like this. Okay, you can see here in this picture also there is an unbroken continuous oil film around the shaft, and there is no physical contact between this bearing and shaft. Okay, so in hydrodynamic lubrication, there is a continuous film around the two rotating parts or two moving parts. You can see here in this bearing and between this uh, bearing and journal shaft and journal bearing, there is a continuous film and there is no unbroken film here okay in hydrodynamics uh, lubrication load is taken completely by the oil film you can see here the, here load is acting downward and this load is totally act, uh, supported by the oil film there is no physical contact between this bearing and this uh, shaft this total load is supported by the oil film okay the basis of hydrodynamic lubrication is the formation of an oil wedge. That means the working principle of this hydrodynamic is oil wedge. This is working on the formation of an oil oil wedge. Oil wedge is nothing but a decreasing thickness of uh, oil film. You can see here. At this position, the oil has maximum oil film has maximum thickness. From here, you can see the thickness goes on decreasing, decreasing, and finally it becomes minimum at this position. Okay, so when this uh, oil film go, goes on decreasing, this thickness of this oil film goes on decreasing. At the same time, pressure goes on increasing. This is the pressure distribution. You can see here, this arrows indicate pressure distribution. So when at at this position, when uh, thickness is maximum, then here pressure is very less. At this position, pressure increased. At this pressure, pressure is uh, at this position, pressure is still more. And this position, st uh, pressure is still more. And at this position, pressure is maximum. And from here, pressure goes on decreasing, and finally it becomes zero at this position. So you can see here when our film thickness decreasing at the same time, our pressure is increasing. Okay. So this decreasing thickness of oil film is no, uh, known as oil wedge and uh, hydrodynamic lubrication work on this principle only. When the general rotates, it creates an oil taper or wedge between the two surfaces and the pressure build up with the oil film and supports the load. So due to build up of this pressure in this oil wedge, this pressure only supports this load and it uh, separates the direct contact between the uh, shaft and journal. That means two moving parts. This built up pressure supports the uh, supports or uh, take the whole load and it avoids direct contact between these two metals. So this is the working principle of hydrodynamic lubrication. It works on the formation of oil wedge. Okay, oil wedge is nothing but uh, oil film of decreasing thickness and increasing pressure between the uh, oil film. Okay. So this is the working principle of hydrodynamic lubrication. Okay, the uh, the performance or efficiency of hydrodynamic lubrication depends on the four parameters. Its four parameters are relative speed between the surfaces, oil viscosity, low, and clearance between the moving or sliding surfaces. So, if speed is more, then there will be better formation of oil wedge. Okay, if the speed is more, then we can get better hydrodynamic lubrication. That means it is directly proportional to the speed of this shaft. Okay, and oil viscosity. 
it is also directly proportional to the viscosity of oil if our oil has high viscosity then there will be better formation of uh, oil wells and our hydrodynamic uh, hydrodynamic lubrication will be good and load it is inversely proportional to load if our load is high then we will not get better hydrodynamic uh, hydrodynamic lubrication that means our hydrodynamic lubrication is suitable for light load applications okay and clearance between the moving or sliding uh, surfaces that means it is inversely proportional to uh, clearance between the moving or sliding surfaces that means our, if our clearance is more then then there will be no uh, better hydrodynamic lubrication we will get better hydrodynamic lubrication when there is very less clearance between this uh, rotating surfaces if rotating surfaces uh, clearance between these two surfaces is less then there will be high pressure build up in this uh, wells and there will be better formation of oil film okay if our uh, clearance is more than there will be no high pressure generated in this this wells okay and due to less pressure what happens there will be contact between these two metals if contact is uh, take place between these two metals then there will be no continuous film if continuous uh, if the film gets broken then there will be no formation of hydrodynamic lubrication that means it is inversely proportional to the clearance between moving or sliding surfaces okay so this is all about the hydrodynamic lubrication now we'll see its applications it is suitable for delicate instruments and light machines like watches clocks clocks guns sewing machines and it is also used in scientific instruments like uh, microscope telescope and like this scientific instruments and large plane bearings like pedestal bearings and main bearings of diesel engines so this is all the applications of hydrodynamic lubrications so i hope you like the video if you like the video then please press the like button subscribe the channel and also press the bell notification and uh, share this video if you have any query then please comment in the comment box and if you want video on any topic then please comment in the comment box i will try to make video on that topic so thanks for watching bye bye